know. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to the land of attorneys that are ace. It is us. They are not. I mean, it's in the title. <laughs> One yeah. of them is, maybe. Thank you for the head pat, Senmaru. Uh, yes, uh, it has been a few weeks since we played, since we've all been on stream or hung out. Uh, uh, in the interim, I have released a Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged episode, and aside from that, I don't really want to talk about any of it. So uh, check out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged episode. That That is what happened. Uh, but it's not just me. We're going to be playing Ace Attorney with friends. And speaking of friends, before I get get into my co-hosts, uh, we thank you for the follow, Iggy Strife, King Saturday the Second, and Chartreuse Moon. And also thank you to Snow the First for resubbing for ten months in a row, fourteen total. Thank you, Drew Illusions, for the headpad. Thank you, Snow the First, for the resub for ten months in a row, fourteen total. The return. Yes, indeed. Thank you. We've heard of Return of the Jedi. This is Return of the... Uh... Queers. Sad bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, uh, and thank you, Lena Kira, for mentioning the donate uh, link there. We do... We, yes, we have had some unfortunate incidents in, in previous weeks, and uh, I'm hoping to, you know... I'm hoping to combat some of the expenses that we've accrued. Yeah. But anyway... I like the dollar count right now, though. It's great, right? My my fans, <laughs> my followers, they've done a great job with that. <laughs> uh, but speaking of co-hosts, and speaking of doing a great job, we're also joined by my partner in life and in the sex. We, oh. <laughs> we have... And we do Mar a lot of that. We have <laughs> Marin Miller. Hi, Just Marin. one, though. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> just one hello all it is i Marin miller here today with your update on homosexuals <laughs> um so yeah it's been a couple weeks yes. and what an awful couple weeks martin won't go into it but i will because i haven't had a chance to <laughs> please by all means um but yeah uh so um you know in july we found out our car uh was like needed a shit ton of repairs and then um around that same time gordon uh was kind of coughing and breathing heavily and we brought him into the vet who told us that it was congestive heart failure and he was going to die and then after an x-ray they were like well maybe not uh go see a cardiologist so then we took the cat to the cardiologist cardiologist said it is not fluid it is a mass and we believe it is cancer and so we need to test this cancer to see if it is a cancer this cat can survive and so we needed to test and waited another week to find out it was large cell lymphoma it was terminal he had six months to live and in order to get those six months he would need to get chemotherapy every week um he hated going to the vet and would stop eating and had not eaten in two weeks voluntarily so chemotherapy was too rough on him um so we ended up deciding to let him go. Um, and that was very difficult, but we are very relieved that he is no longer suffering. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and I also um, have not been able to work for a few weeks because as we all know, the strike has been going on, which is affecting the entirety of the um, entertainment ecosystem. I have been desperately looking for work, um, but we still have not found any, or I have not found any. Um, I've been auditioning every day, sending out um, resumes. I'm actually working on three new resumes right now because I have a feeling that my current resumes are not working um also during the hurricane uh the roof leaked which the roof has been leaking since we moved in but now it's gotten to the point that it is leaking into my studio and uh thank christ none of the equipment got um ridiculously wet um but uh, and a, a large part of that is because my mouse pad is one of those booby mouse pads so um, a lot of the water was absorbed by the blankets that I have to treat the space inside the booth. And then what wasn't was absorbed by uh, Zagreus's boobies. So um, thank Christ. The hero we need. Yeah, the hero we need, his big old bear titties. So um, <clears throat> we, uh, we're, I'm going to need to relocate my office. And, and our roommate is moving out. So <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> there's all sorts of crazy shit going on right now. But uh, we are glad to be here, and we're glad that you're here with us. Indeed. 
And thank you to EJ Blackhawk for the thousand bits. And they say, I will try to donate when I can. EJ, thank you for what you have given. And uh, don't feel obligated to give anymore, sincerely. But thank you for that. And uh, voided out. Thank you for the hydrate command. I did while uh, while Marin was speaking. I, I took a swig of water. But now let's take a swig of a different form of liquid or solid, depending on your uh, point of view. Uh, we're joined by Soupy. Hi, Soupy. Hi. Hope everybody's doing okay. I know it's been a while. Was that I is married? the most disgusting introduction I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about sex with you, but. Yeah, but no, liquid or solid soup? Ew. Well, which is it? What is, is well, super... solid soup. I Who mean... wants to eat a solid soup? <laughs> also, are we I... talking about poop? Think... Like, what the, the fuck? More, the more solid a soup gets, I think it turns into stew territory. Uh, yeah. But is a stew you know? even solid? That's still liquid. It's still not solid, but it's more solid. There's like, you know, soup is where it's like, it's more liquid than solid. And then stew is like it's more solid than liquid, you know, but it's still kind of liquidy. I suppose that's so gelatinous. <laughs> soup I'm popsicle. upset. I'm upset. <laughs> the solid soup conversation. I don't like this. How have you been, Soupy? The worst solid snake brother. <laughs> solid soup. There's solid snake <laughs> liquid steak and solid soup and liquid soup. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play this Metal Gear Solid game. <laughs> I've been okay, though. Um, I know the last time we streamed was right before I went to FanFest, right. which that was, it was half it's super fun bisexual. and half just like, just things I expected from Square Enix as a company. Sure. Um, But I had a good time. I met a lot of my uh, raid group friends, but I, there was usually like eight to nine of us hanging out at a time. Wow. And I was the only one who got COVID. Oh, it's that furry's fault. Yeah. The, the fucking fan fest furry gave me COVID. <laughs> and all I but got like, was this lousy like, fan shirt. Fest furry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I had to like, I had to do like the 10 day quarantine. And then I, the day I went back to work, one of my coworkers who I hadn't talked to like that much before, he figured out where I was from the days that I took off. And he was just like, you go to Fan Fest? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, did you see the comic? And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, you got outed. <laughs> the Fan Fest furry has yeah. the same, like, ring as... So it's like the Scranton Strangler. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just have to add this because it really amused me. Um, but, uh, you know, I told you that, um, one of my clients was at FanFest as well. Oh, and, right. um, she, it was funny because she was sitting in the event where they were announcing Don Trail. Don Trail, yeah. Yeah, Don Trail. And, um, uh, she was sitting in that event and I guess she was crying because she was so emotional. And uh, the person next to her, you know, started talking to her because she was like, are you OK? Like, what's going on? And, you know, they were like, oh, I'm just emotional. And anyway, they started talking. They turned it turns out that they're in the same industry. One of them is like a, an events coordinator for the HALP network, which is like a, a class, a group of teachers um, for mm -hmm. acting. And the other person is like a dubbing supervisor. So they were like, oh, oh. same business, sort of. And then they both realized they both knew me. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up getting a uh, Korean barbecue last night and that's when they were telling that's me awesome. how they met and I was like oh so you guys were just crying over Final Fantasy <laughs> Listen, that you're is like, a way to oh. meet people <laughs> yeah I was just like oh that's great <laughs> that's so funny that's adorable <laughs> that is cute uh, we don't have to jump right into the game if people don't want to like because honestly I know that uh it's been a few weeks and, you know, it's it's been a little bit rough. So we don't, I'm not expecting us to be super focused on the game, but yeah. does anyone in the chat happen to remember where we're at in the game? <laughs> because we we uh, don't remember. I, I mean, oh, I do I remember think, the circumstance. I think someone mentioned having a recap, but I don't know if it got posted or not. I apologize. I, I must have missed that. I can't remember that. who it was who said it. Oh, there we go. Dark, oh Jade. Dark Jade. Last time on Dual Destinies, Hero. we got through questioning Scuttlebutt. 
and made a few interesting discoveries, namely that she spotted someone who was wearing the stage costume which Woods had made for the climax of the school festival. This causing her to make the assumption that the person wearing it was Woods. Right, I remember the, the image we saw is very inconclusive. Something which has led us to start questioning Robin due to sharp eyes spotting a detail in one of the photos of the class trial, right? He had the coloration on his hands, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was like Low glowing paint. paint. Yeah, we, we thought we thought Robin was casting a spell. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're, are we still talking to Scuttlebutt? Do you want to do your Scuttlebutt now? No, so that way I don't think people here. like that, so I'm going to just stop <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think here's the thing. Once in a while is fine. Every no. single time a character comes on, it's just, not it's okay. just really funny <laughs> how unhinged Marin and I have been for like a couple of years now. But then you do that, and people were like, "I'm going to, I'm going to close the stream." And for the record, for the record, <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it every time the characters on screen. I did it like every twenty minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> Still too much, I guess. Still too much. I mean, Aquafina I completely understand, frankly. I, I, I figured it wouldn't be a popular one, but if it does bother <laughs> people, I genuinely don't want to do it, so... Oh, wow, we have we have four votes for Scuttlebutt. No, we have <laughs> two one uh, two of one person voting for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have... No, okay, no we have that's, three. Still, that's still two votes. We, and also, Ankoku no Megami says I like the Scuttlebutt. Well, it's okay. I don't need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ryuka Rika scuttle. Yeah, make it an expensive redeem. No, no, no. I really don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Please. It's because he's bisexual. It's because he's bisexual. Thank you, Silent Dag. And thank you yeah. to, uh, I didn't say it out loud before, but thank you to uh, Ryuka Rika and Rikios for high up and turn down for what, and Senmaru for the Vamp redeem as well. Uh, we're about to start questioning Robin here, and we'll pa and you'll pass on the song. Absolutely, Dark Jade, you should pass on the song. <laughs> and Ninja Warlord, thank you for bonking me. I assume it's either for not doing it or for doing it. In either case, you're just Those are valid reasons. Yes. Ninja Warlord said that he wanted it, so well, Ninja Ninja Warlord, I feel has had enough skull, but that's true. Ninja <laughs> Warlord is, will get too horny if we play Scuttlebutt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he wants it. We gotta keep him in the cage. In the time right. cage. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the game music on. I, I assume everybody's ready it. to jump into the... Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Let me know how loud that is in the stream chat. If it's too overbearing, if the game audio is uh, inaudible compared to us, or, you know, if it's clashing. Do you want to take us away, Judge? the music or what yeah it's just my is I'm it very loud head no i'm wearing different uh, headphones so i uh it's very quiet to me on here okay you might try adjusting it on discord itself that might be why yeah, good oh and Will the witness please state his name and occupation i forgot i think it's uh it's somebody's birthday oh ej blackhawk birthday. Ha huh? happy birthday someone happy <laughs> birthday ej blackhawk i wanted to say Oh yeah, I forgot it was my birthday last weekend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Happy belated <laughs> Happy birthday, late Marin. Happy birthday, Marin. Yay. Everybody give me presents. <laughs> yeah. Give me hugs. Oh, am I, is this me? I believe so. Yes. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, I'm Robin Newman. I want to become a great artist. I practice day and night. Yeah. I'm not gonna be as great. Sure. Not on my nice okay. mic. And also, fuck that. Fuck that. No, that's not it. Art's gotta be sincere, man. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. So, for occupation, should we put down budding artist? You said what? <laughs> no! So just to clarify, I think we're questioning Robin because we recognized that he had the paint on his hands, which meant yeah. that he was involved yeah. in the outfit. Really? <clears throat> he was dressed up um, as... Because it has the um, glowing he, stuff he, on it. He put it on. That's yeah. it. And, the and person... then there was like paint missing from like the inside, I think, wasn't there? Right, something like that. And then there was also the thing with like... There was the voice recording where everybody thought they were... Like the voice recording was saying, "You're a goner," but then it turned out to be Hugh O'Connor. Wait, what? 
I don't the... remember that. Oh, oh really? Is I that... remember the Euro Connor. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I don't remember Hugh O'Connor, but. Mm. I don't remember. I don't know if I remember the Hugh O'Connor, but I do remember the. Euro Did you spoil it, Soupy? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's Is okay. that one it's of the one details time. that I re actually remember? <laughs> <laughs> Numis, wait, Themis, the legal <laughs> academy, <laughs> senior. Numis, Numis. <laughs> Numis. Loomis is Loomis is the fucking name of the chick from Psycho. <laughs> That's right, and the uh, the the uh... wait, what? What? Loomis. Yeah, the, that's her name, Mary Loomis. So wait, isn't there a Loomis in Halloween as well? Maybe. It could be a, a, an homage yeah, to the original Psycho. I was going to say, in Halloween, uh, Donald Pleasance's character is called Lo Dr. Loomis. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if it was a, like a throwback, because like Psycho, obviously. And then in Scream, the, the villain is called Billy Loomis. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. Interesting. I only remember it because in Psycho 2, um, what's her name? Vera Miles, the actress. She, I'm pretty sure she uses the name Loomis. That was her name. Remember it. Ah. Or don't you remember it? You remember it, you murderer. Vampira, thank you for the Maya he, Maya who. This brace is proof of my masculinity. I've been training to be a prosecutor for 18 years! Why is every child trying to be a prosecutor in this world? I don't this think is not Robin a is over 18. No, Robin is over 18. Robin's like in his 20s. He is 18. Oh, Whoa! he is 18. He has Shit. been doing it since he was a boss baby. <laughs> 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 he was a pros baby. <laughs> I thought he was doing it since toddlerhood. My bad. <clears throat> I assume you will be cleaning up the pottery you smashed before you leave today. Oh, man! See, Newman has to do it because they don't have gumshoe anymore. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Robin's like, this isn't what they do in Legend of Zelda. Link doesn't have to pick up his pottery. Right. But... Chad? Hmm. <laughs> it seems the witness has finally settled down. Ah! <laughs> just gonna scream. <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> yeah, just in the background. Accurate. <laughs> I guess nothing phases the judge after all these years. You may proceed with your testimony, Mr. Newman. Specifically, the court spell. wishes... <laughs> the court wishes to hear why you had fluorescent paint on your hand. Were you doing or something what weird? what you were casting. <laughs> <laughs> How much mana those... did you spend? Are you a wizard? <laughs> a white woman witch? <laughs> Witchness testimony. Oh my god, y'all. I have to talk for a minute. I gotta I gotta externalize my inner star lesbian here for a second, okay? Is that a so, Twilight thing? No. That's just an <laughs> astrology thing. Okay. <laughs> if you uh, are into astrology, you're a lesbian. I don't make the rules. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like the other day I was like, man, life sucks real hard. Is something going on astrologically? Oh my What's god. What's going is, on in the sky? Is Mercury right in now? retrograde? Bitch, you have no it's idea. Because he's bisexual. I found an article from June of this month Thank with you, the head or of this year with the headline June of this month. My God. June, June of this, of this <laughs> month. <laughs> June of this year. Uh, and they were like, prepare. Seven planets are going into retrograde this summer. And I'm oh like, my Fuck. God. <laughs> like Pluto started in July. Or, or in June, I think. One of them started in June or July. So we're just I didn't fucked. even know Pluto could be in retrograde. Every planet can be in retrograde, baby. Oh if my you god. you got a hole, the world can fuck it. 
<laughs> anyway, prepare yourself. You know, you know, there's a website called is Mercury in retrograde dot com. Yes. Did it tell you? <laughs> yeah. It says yes. Uh, and just to explain, retrograde being in retrograde means that um, you're on like the the the. There's a part of your rotation, the planet's rotation, where it spins in place and even sometimes will go in reverse before going in its normal path of rotation. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh that's what retrograde means it's like a reversal of energy it's usually like a time of purging or mm -hmm. something bad happens vampiro thank it you sure does thank you for the 10 bits <laughs> marin what do the crystals say <clears throat> they say uh that i need to have a big dick okay. yeah and i agree why they also I... say stay in bed everyone stay in <laughs> bed <laughs> everyone <laughs> stay in bed kiss women why <laughs> yeah exactly touch the costume <laughs> <laughs> i when went mercury's... to see <laughs> when mercury's in retrograde my roommate and i will be like mars mars is in gatorade again <laughs> <laughs> renesmee's in retrograde <laughs> that is from twilight <laughs> Mercury's in Renesmee. Hey, phrasing! I went to see Jupiter. I, I you went up. to see Jupiter in retrograde? Damn it. <laughs> I'm a star lesbian! <laughs> You've got the star lesbian badge. I went to see Juniper in her dressing room, but she was not there. Uh, Vampira, thank you for the phrasing, Redeem. And Rari Karika, thank you for the 10 bits. Your J.O. crystal. Yeah, I'm charging it right now. <laughs> when I walked by that really costume, I was like, whoa! Alpha Rabbit, thank you for subscribing at tier one for nine months. So is he just saying that he just was excited to see the costume, so he touched it? I don't know what he's saying, to be honest. <laughs> the mannequin it was on, it was about to fall on me. Oh, it got knocked on him. I got that pain on me when I caught it. But it was on the inside, wasn't it? I feel yes. like it was. Like he grabbed it. I never yeah, put kinda... it on. That's just stupid. The pain was like on in places where like it looked like that's where he had gripped to put it on. Yeah, it, yeah. Let me see if I have. I like fist it up. <laughs> Oh, right yeah. there, yeah. I guess... It's, it's on the palms. Right on the tits. <laughs> Baka. <Hold it. laughs> Wendy Lee. Go. Go. Your Honor, Go. I recommend a short therapy session for the witness. A short one? <laughs> L-Train, thank you. L-Train. L-Train, thank you for the 10 bits. Lurking and keeping it brief, but welcome back, you three. Thank you, L-Train. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, Train. Yeah. Well, Mr. Newman does seem particularly agitated, but I don't believe in therapy. <laughs> oh. I don't want to try my feelings. <laughs> don't uh, thank you for the hoo ha. Hoo ha. Not again. What's his problem? Oh, gosh, Ella Pegasus, thank you for the $5 donation. Oh. I do appreciate that, Ella. Thank you very much, Ella girl. Giving us fabulous. Fabulous. I sensed at the moment Robin took the stand. The discord in his heart and in his gender. <laughs> I know that. So, you think he might be hiding something? Probably. You ready, Mr. Newman? Let's see what the Mood Matrix can do for you. Oh, fuck. This is going to be something else. Danny DeVito's coming back there. <laughs> Beep. Egg. Winky face. Wink. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Egg. Numbers. <laughs> All right. What is the unexpected emotion? I went to see Juniper in her waiting room. No feelings there about it. No feelings. Nothing. But she wasn't there, that makes sense. Surprise whoa. makes sense. When I walked by that frilly costume, I was like, whoa. Are we are supposed to be like, why are you happy? Yeah. Do you want to wear it, you weirdo? The Azulmagia, thank you for the 10 bits. Wait, have they made a Seinfeld joke about Newman yet? Because that seems like it would be up Ace Attorney's alley. I would be surprised if they hadn't. Should I click the smile, yeah? Yeah. I think so. 
That's a weird thing to be. I wouldn't be able be. to tell a Seinfeld joke even if they made one. I feel That's like. the thing. Yeah, unless unless they they told the joke and then they also went. <laughs> Is that what the bass slap sounds like to you? <laughs> That's just some, a sound effect they add for only the, the localization of Ace Attorney. Yeah. The British localization of Ace Attorney. No, of Seinfeld. <laughs> I thought. In England, whenever Seinfeld tells a joke, it's like... <laughs> That's the sound they make when they drink tea. We have to watch it with subtitles on. <laughs> <laughs> like otherwise they just don't understand yeah <laughs> when you mentioned the stage costume i sensed a sudden powerful feeling of joy would you care to explain mr newman what's the deal with your happiness Jim Prower, it's thank suspicious you. To me. <laughs> oh, hype train. Jim Prower, thank you for resubbing at tier one for twenty nine months, and let's get that hype train a chugging a little bit. Into the weenie mobile. Level five gets weenie us man kisses, y'all. It's yeah. true. Weenie man away. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Ryu Karika. Well, well, wait. What? Well, why would a frilly scarf thing in a long skirt make me feel like that? Oh, we're oh, getting into a weird area. Ryu Yikes Karika, thank cracking. you for the 10 bits. Hype train, hype! Indeed, thank you for fueling the hype train. I don't know, but you seem awfully interested in that costume for some reason. <laughs> you didn't happen to put it on, did you? Oh, like I'd be into that kind of thing. I'm a dude. Oh. I'm into braces, not dresses. It's true. Dudes do famously love braces. <laughs> EJ Blackhawk, thank Mar you for the hundred bits. Martin's wearing one right now. <laughs> EJ, thank you for the hundred bits more. But where? You don't think. Robin likes girls' clothes, do you? Oh, come on. Isn't it obvious? You're enjoying this a bit too much, Athena. I love no. gender euphoria. No way, man! I don't sit alone at night thinking about how pretty I'd be if I were a girl and how bad I want to be a girl and how much I would love being a girl. The mannequin came falling towards me, so I stuck out my hands to stop it. End of story. Are you sure it wasn't a woman mannequin? <laughs> That's a new piece of information. Time to run an update. Likes. Danny DeVito powers activate. <laughs> Info update. He grabbed her titties. <laughs> hmm. Even if after that update, something just doesn't feel right. Because the hands don't match up. The hand prints. Yeah. Up. It's not cringe enough. <laughs> Thank you, Vampiro, for the zookeeper redeem. Do I have anything that could prove his statement contradicts what really happened? The titties? You did not I guess try to doesn't... honk her boobies, sir. Yeah. The titties? <laughs> the titties. That's what I'm guessing. Take that! You said the mannequin came falling toward you, so you stuck your hands out to stop it. If so, then the fingers of your hands would have been pointing outward like this. I have grabbed many a mannequin. <laughs> but that's not... That's not what the handprints show. Rizariak, welcome. We are uh, questioning someone on how they handled a mannequin. Man handled a mannequin. Man handled the woe mannequin. In fact, this looks more like just your thumbs and the base of your palms. Based. <laughs> Why in the world would I leave such weird handprints? Because you got weird hands. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the part where they reveal that Robin's hands are reversed. <laughs> you know why. You left them when you went to adjust the scarf after putting it on. Just like the model in this drawing. Oh, Ed Bosco. Edward Bosco. Edward Bosco. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a good yeah. stream. I assume you were watching AEW. Uh, let Balls me give you a... Go. Oh. Give you a shout out. You were just chatting. I'm assuming you were reacting live to... Uh, AEW's show. I didn't get the chance to watch it myself, but uh, 
Thank you for stopping by. And Karika, thank you for the $9 donation. Oh my gosh. Oh, you need to now. Ed, you got to get on that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for stopping by and thank you for the raid. Hope you had a blast. I assume you were doing a signing then. Ah, yes, you were. Okay. Well, I hope that you get to enjoy All In, I think it was. Uh, Ninja Warlord, thank you for the 10 bits. I feel like they're going to write away the cross-dressing by saying Robin is a girl. I don't know what's going to happen myself. <laughs> Whoa! Good stuff. Why don't you just admit it, Mr. Newman? You did put the stage costume on, didn't you? And you really do like frilly clothes, don't you? Oh, Ryu Karika, thank you for gifting two subs to ISJ and Sage Calamity. Thank you. Enjoy those two gift subs, courtesy of very generous Ryu Karika. And thank you for fueling that hype train. We got to level this two, so let's get that going. Making my hemorrhoids yeah. do the hollow hey. shake. Thank you. Just another level of kisses. There's Fine. getting closer. Three more levels. I admit to putting the costume on. I admit to wanting to see Miles Edgeworth and Phoenix Wright kiss. But... <laughs> Vampiro, thank you for the $59. Well, that's new information. <laughs> thank you for the $59 donation and thank you for maintaining the 69-69 symmetry nice. there. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Vampiro. <laughs> and we have 96 viewers, I should point out. Ooh, oh, wow. Special. I don't like girly clothes, man! I like that we have this nonsense happening in the game, but we're doing our best to stay, uh, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're not feeding into the game's yeah. transphobia. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> it wants attention. It really we're does. It, it wants attention. us to be upset. <laughs> it wants us to be upset and confused. We already know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just keep just recontextualizing it as queer people, just being like, yeah, you go for it. Yeah. Wear whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's she's smiling in support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes, new information to plug in. She's like, I gotta help this trans man come out, or this trans fam. Yeah. I don't even know what Robin would know. be at this point. I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think right now it's just traumatized. I yes, think that's, that's what it is. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, all of the identity stuff in Ace Attorney is just sort of narrowed down to trauma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah essentially. Uh, it's narrowed down to that one sprite of Miles Edgeworth grabbing his arm and looking to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's like the most recognizable symbol in all yes. of Ace Attorney. <laughs> Time for another update. I'm glad this is all being presented as a storybook with feelings and emotions that you can click on. <laughs> My heart was pounding even though I'm a guy. What? What? Okay, uh, Sir. Uh, happy, I guess, is, it is weird. Is it gay if, you, if your heart's pounding? <laughs> I don't understand what this line means. Is it, is it gay if you are uh, alive? <laughs> <laughs> if your heart is beating, does that make me homosexual? I think we're, we're, we're solving this, guys. <laughs> I'm guessing the smile is weird here, right? Or I, I think it's the sadness. Really? Yeah. If he's, oh. Because he's like, I'm a guy, but right. he's sad about it. That's his conflict. Oh. Yeah. So are you happy or sad, sir? <laughs> he's sappy. Is it gay to breathe? <laughs> is it gay to live? <laughs> Life is kind of gay, not gonna lie. Yeah. No, we're we're solving the mystery, y'all. The secret yeah. of life is to be gay. I, I think we're almost there. Yeah. Gay and traumatized. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I've never known any other life, so... Indeed. I think that should be the title of our collective autobiography. <laughs> yeah, Gay and Traumatized. The Martin Billy Marin Miller Soup Story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even your legal name. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a very serious photo of the two of us and then a can of soup. <laughs> a can of soup. <laughs> It's you guys just holding a can of Campbell's soup. And like your photo on the soup. <laughs> you as Chef Boyardee. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> More like Chef Bayardee. <laughs> yeah. There, another emotion that doesn't fit. 
Unless. <laughs> so what? You really started to get on my nerves, man. Mr. Newman, you got excited when you put the costume on. But you also felt sad. Who cares if I felt sad? It's no big deal! That's what I tell myself every night when I go to bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I'm not okay, the gender I want to be. <laughs> okay, Mr. Newman, out with it. Why did you feel sad? You're hiding something, aren't you? Transphobia. <laughs> oh, no! Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the hype train, guys. Thank you for getting us through the level one hype train. You're Jesus. not fooling anyone anymore. Jesus. Now tell us why you were sad. You owe me this information. This is therapy. Intervention. Intervention. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fuck. Fine. If you're gonna be that way, I'll tell you. The reason I felt sad is... 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 The Azulmagia, thank you for the 10 bits. You know, I never really thought about it before because haha, <laughs> funny Ace Attorney mechanics. But public therapy seems counterproductive. Instead of them admitting a personal hang-ups in secret, you're just kind of badgering out of them in front of a crowd. Yes, and that can uh, obviously influence the things they're feeling and saying. So it's it's not necessarily... It, first of all, it's not healthy. And second of all, it's not necessarily accurate. Ace Attorney says, don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Some a lot of real life people do too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no matter how much I'll dress up, I'll never be as pretty as Juniper. Well, no offense, but for one thing, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a transphobe. I hate people. <laughs> His <laughs> business like, is on. mine. Hang on, Apollo. Are you being transphobic? And Apollo's like, I'm a trans man. <laughs> and we're like, he's avoiding the question. <laughs> Ninja Warlord, thank you for the 10 bits. This feels like gaslighting. It feels like something. No, that's not it. I totally owned those girly clothes. I should have been totally pretty. But, but... There's something that keeps getting in my way! Wow. That's a whole lot of anger and raw emotion right there. I'm grumpy. Where's my cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Minecraft on your phone? <laughs> no. <laughs> His heart is crying out in pain. His emotions are out of control. Why do you think that is? You just fucking went at him. <laughs> I don't get it! Athena's like, ooh, this open wound. I'm gonna stick my finger in here. <laughs> Out of control emotions. We saw those during the Nine Tails Veil incident. Clearly, this person's gender identity is comparable to some ghosts or something. <laughs> is that a gender? Ghost? Yes. Is Yokai a gender? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> So all we have to do is find the source of his uncontrollable anger, right? Right. Help me look for a conflict between his statements and the images we see. If we can find that, we can wrestle him away from whatever's tormenting him. And I can get my cereal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mr. Newman said that there's something getting in the way of him being pretty. Oh. Something that doesn't go with girly clothes. But what could it be? I'm so annoyed. Fine, I'll testify, man. I wonder what his catchphrase is in the Japanese, because I assume man has some sort of equivalent. Yo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, we're probing. What, so how does this work? Um... I don't remember. Okay. I, I think we're just like looking. We might be looking for something visually. I see. Where it's like we go through the images and uh, then we, okay. we pick out something that uh, like conflicts with what he's actually saying. I see. Here's an info update. He put it on. I felt like a diva when I pulled the hood over my head. Now, wouldn't his fingerprints be on the hood then? 
I don't think fingerprints will be right. Left. No. Uh, Ninja Warlord, thank you for the 10 bits. He is missing a butt plug. Okay. <laughs> it felt so right. I was totally dressed up like a girl. Should I probe this, I'm guessing? You can try. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, I have to drag this. Oh, yeah. I, it might be the brace. The brace? I think that's... Uh... Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about is getting in the way. Mr. Newman, you feel a great deal of anger toward your brace, don't you? I see. Is that what you feel is holding you back from being as pretty as you think you should be? Huh? What? Mr. Newman, the truth is you really want to take that brace off, don't you? No way, man! This is a symbol of masculinity! I could never take it off! Is it that you can't take it off, or that you don't want to take it off? Is it just stuck on? Does he just not know how to take it off? No, it is a representation of his relationship with his gender, I'm right. pretty sure. Right, right, I know. <laughs> oh man, I should have kept my big mouth shut! This is really weird. It's weird that you're really hopping on about it. <laughs> he exhibits an intense anger toward his brace, which he calls a symbol of masculinity. But he can't take it off, even when dressing like a girl. And why is he so interested in girls' clothes in the first place? I don't give a shit, but seriously. Why am I dedicating so much time to this? Jesus. <laughs> I have a feeling we're on the verge of <clears throat> uncovering an earth-shattering secret. I have a feeling we're on the verge of violating this person's <laughs> privacy. <laughs> yeah. I need to go to the bathroom really okay, fast. Okay, sure thing. Me too. I'll All be right, right back. We're having a quick bathroom break, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for the stream today. We're playing some more Ace Attorney in a bit of a weird area of the game. Uh, it's not horrifically offensive, but it just feels pretty clumsy. But, uh... We'll get through it, and we're still having a good time. And I don't think the game means anything. I don't think its intentions are bad. I think it just uh, isn't a weird area and isn't isn't quite sure how to handle what and it's doing. I got doing. news for you. Vampiro, thank and you for the iced tea redeem. I shouldn't talk over iced tea. That's my bad. The whole point of you playing the redeem is to hear the redeem. Thank you, Vampiro. Yelenated, to be fair, all the Ace Attorney characters have processed their trauma in the courtroom because therapy room drama does not make for a good game, lol. They should have done a crossover between Trauma Center and Ace Attorney that was just therapy for the main characters. And you could have, like, group sessions where all the, the supporting cast uh, are in, the, in therapy with them and they all get to share their issues with each other. Have I done the DLC yet? I have not, JKX. I know a lot of people suggested that I do the DLC uh, in a certain order in between uh, case two and three. I think there's a case where Phoenix comes back uh, that technically takes place before the first case. Uh, but I didn't do that yet, no. We haven't, uh, I'm gonna save it. I'm, I'm doing it in kind of in release order more than chronological order. Uh, yes. Back. Welcome back. Yes. I, I'm sure, obviously, you know, there are cultural differences that cause this to be obviously a bit of a... I think it's a clum... I think it's just clumsy. I, I don't... I personally am not thinking this area of the game is... Obviously, I'm not the person to be offended by it necessarily, but it's... Uh, I, I think that it's just well-intentioned but poorly handled. Thank you for the Hydrate Command, Sojourner. Oh, did Soupy step away too? Soupy did step away, yes. Ah, so so. Soupy went to uh, use the bathroom as well. Azalmagia, the order of cases is like 2, 3, DLC, part of case 4, case 1, the rest of case 4, then case 5. It's I'm weird. Mervana, thank you for subscribing for 33 months. Holy cow, and you say dirty tree. <laughs> thank mm. you so much for the dirty tree months of subscription. Ooh. Huh? 
Uh, I forgot to talk about my game since we have. Oh yeah, go ahead. On my game. Um, so I started taking a narrative desi design class this weekend that I'm really, or last weekend that I'm really excited about. And uh, if you guys go on my Twitch, which is Marin M Miller VO, I played. Um, I I made so we had a, an assignment from this class to make a game, introducing ourselves or talking about a part of ourselves that we want to uh, share with other people. So I decided to make a game about petting my animals. So I made a game called Pet Marin's Pets Simulator. Um, and I, uh, it's basically just where you walk through my house and you have to find like uh, food and bowls and a cat toy. And then you can pet all my cats because if you don't have food, then Gordon will bite you and you can't pet him. And if you don't have all the items, then Meatball will not trust you enough to come out and let you pet him. So I played through it and I showed all the Easter eggs on my, uh, on my channel. And it's just like a half hour, little 40 minute video. Um, but it's really cute. I put little sound effects in there. Um, a friend just sent me a song that I can loop. So it's gonna have music and I think I'm gonna publish it on itch after I talk to my teacher and because I wanna fix the style sheet, it's not working. So it looks ugly. Oh hi, Meatball. Speaking of, hello. Meatball. Um, but yeah, so when I get the style sheet fixed up and when it stops using fucking Times New Roman font, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, put it up on itch and then you guys can pet Marin's pets simulator. And that's my game. I'm back. By 2023. The way. Welcome back. Welcome back, Soupy. Marin, I have a I have an idea for your next game. Yes. Marin Miller's reverse petting zoo. <laughs> you pet the animals, they pet you back. <laughs> oh my god. I might make that. <laughs> oh my god, I can make office shit post games. Holy that, shit. That can be, it can be like um like DLC. <gasps> Yeah, like the just the option for your pets to pet you back. But hang on, I could make threat level midnight the game. <laughs> I can't wait. I have to do that. Oh my god, incredible! That's gonna be a great piece of spec work. Athena, you okay? It seems Robin is still hiding a secret, a big one. Bigger than the fact that he. That I'm a transphobe? <laughs> <laughs> yes, bigger than that. <laughs> no, it can't be. Am I the transphobe? <laughs> I just thought of something, but it's totally insane. Mr. Newman. Whoa, 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 what? I'm onto your little secret. And if I'm correct, it's not very little at all. It's huge. I think it makes it worse oh. that they just, they deliberate and elaborate on what they're thinking. And it's just like this. Yeah. The fucking 20 minutes of like, oh my God, this huge fucking secret. This is going to be big. Yeah. You hate girls. Hey, no, crazy. You're a girl. Thank you, Azelmagi. Is it you're a girl? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're saying this is transphobia. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I see. It's, it's internalized Newman. transphobia. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Or, or in, should I, I say mm. Miss Newman? We can get into it when we start learning more about Robin's feelings about themselves, and then we yeah. can talk about it, but yeah. Sure. Yeah. You are and always have been a girl. What? Have you lost the plot, Athena? No, I'm completely serious. I don't have any direct evidence. Just or, things I assume. Or consent. <laughs> but that's what Robin's heart is shouting out, loud and clear. Hold it. Ooh, you know, I was going to blame Shu Takumi for this, but I can't. You can't. Nope. <laughs> I still other. think you've totally lost it. I mean, Robin reeks of testosterone. How could he? I'm sorry. I'm not saying it. 
very straight thing to say, by the way, Bafala. Yeah. I, for I just one, smell the testosterone. I, for one, have never seen a girl who shouts like a maniac all the time because I have only ever met one girl. <laughs> <laughs> who judo throws people. <laughs> oh. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. I will have the spaghetti with a side salad. Have you not seen Marin? I'm not a girl, to be fair. Thank you for the send it back, a redeemed there vampiro. But if he's a she, then she's the most convincing actress I have ever encountered. Women can act? Therefore, let me pronounce my verdict. Robin Newman is without question oh a my man. Oh god. <laughs> it's just like that French court case. No, there was a person who actually was trans and was like, all right, if you believe that I'm this gender, make it make it so in the law and then they actually like declared that person the gender they wanted to be <laughs> it was oh, really wow. funny oh wow i'm sorry if this, I, no i do want to say honestly in the chat if this is making you uncomfortable please don't feel you have to stick around it, it's yeah. i understand well, if it is and I, I think we're going to talk about why these sorts of things exist. I would like to talk about why these sorts of narratives I would like you to talk and why they're yeah. harmful. So I do think that there is value in sticking around because also we can make fun of this. Yes. Like, fuck this. <laughs> sure. You said this. Sorry. You are now truly Justice Dono's equal in one area. You are just as equally insane. Is this the first time he's talked this whole time? It's... <laughs> I forgot he was here, to be honest. Never in the history of this planet has there been a finer specimen of the masculine spirit. I feel bad. I hear Marin screaming, and we can't hear any of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it wasn't that loud. Sorry. I mean, ah. you went for a while. If you guys are done talking about me, ah, my, 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 Mr. Oh, Mime. Don't, don't give us an anime scene. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's Robin's true gender is Mr. Mime. <laughs> What the? <laughs> oh. Except it's girly. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to the sh Oh. No, I can't. It's like Rock Lee and Naruto. Ah! The brace. It's. Okay. And now suddenly I act femme. Miss Sykes, no, allow me to call you Athena. I wanted to keep this a secret at all costs, but no. Okay. Wh no way! Surely this must be some kind of jest. <laughs> nope, it's for real. I'm a girl, body and soul. If you don't believe me, I'll give you a P-E-E-K. I'm so upset. Ah. As if. <laughs> I mean, this is more like cliches, not like anything. Yeah, exactly. What an amazing transformation. Henshin. Well, all the Discord is gone. The image is now complete. The JPEG has rendered. <laughs> okay. That's why she wanted to wear um, it. This was important to everybody. I'm glad we established this. <laughs> because she wanted to be a pretty girl. I'm glad we and established that. She'll never that. be as pretty as Juniper because she's pretending to be a man. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. I was raised as a boy since I was little, 
and I studied law just as my parents wanted. Rock Rulin, thank you for the 10 bits. On behalf of all straight people, I'm so sorry one of us made this. Pretty sure it's more than one. I'm pretty sure it's multiple. I'm confused. Huh. Raised as a boy. But. Okay. But now, this living lie that had me pinned to the ground, it's. Uh, I'm, v I'm confused as well. Huh. Tough. I think her parents didn't want to have a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which and is kind of what... Boy. Like, my grandpa used to call me boy because he wanted to have a boy. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I secretly want to be a girl and I want to wear dresses. It's been blown to smithereens by you, Athena. Now I can stop pretending I want to be a prosecutor. I want to be an artist. Oh no. The true genders are prosecutor and artist. <laughs> Phoenix or Edgeworth. <laughs> Ninja Warlord, thank you for the tempest. This is what pissed me off about this case. The personality switch felt off. Yeah, this just feels so... Yeah. I, I think I remember being really turned off by this too. The secret is it's bad writing. Because I've always been like really turned off by like, oh yeah, she really just secretly wants to be super girly. Fuck yeah, off. Exactly. It was cool that you were a guy. Yay! I mean, I think one of the strengths of Ace Attorney as a franchise is it takes these broad strokes, cliche character archetypes and fills them in with deep, interesting details and makes them actually compelling. And this is kind of taking a, com a compelling idea and making it a cliche. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And like, it's not that we're pissed off that no. the game is saying this is not a trans. Actually, no, I am pissed off oh, that yeah. the game is saying this is not a trans character. I think it would be a more interesting character if this were a trans character instead of a girl who was raised as a boy, forced to act like a boy, and just wants to be a girl more than anything else. A high femme character is not unique, and that is ultimately what this character becomes. And then it's, it's just like very one dimensional. Yeah. If it were Order. something like... Order. If she weren't also like... If she were still masculine without the brace, that would be fine, because you can be a masculine woman. But now she's yeah, playing exactly. high femme, wants to be super girly. Like, that That bothers me, because I was forced into a masculine role when I was young, and that doesn't... And I... But I still don't like those things, you know? And I'm not saying this game is saying that this character sure. is me. Sure. But I am saying that the only times that this happens is used as a joke. Right. So exactly. it's frustrating, you know? And because there are no people who have these kind of lived experiences, it's usually just men with very uh, singular experiences within an urban landscape or a specific kind of monoculture, then it all sort of becomes the same story. They never really that have much like, variation. Like, yeah. And I think, like, in this case specifically, they, like, do the reveal, and then I, then I don't think they really explore it beyond that. It was I, more I just, uh, this is a twist. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like here's a shocking twist, and now we're not going to analyze this at all. Yeah, and like, I mean, I suppose there's something to be said about the fact that this game is a court game and not a character game, but I also think that there's something to be said about the fact that, like, at this point, we're playing for characters. And I do think mm -hmm. Shu Takumi realizes that, because when he went off to go do Great Ace Attorney, while this was being made, I think Great Ace Attorney is the better game because it's more character driven. Yeah. Snow the First, thank you for the $10 donation. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the support and your message. Well, the one positive I choose to take from this, it's that Robin's past and future interactions with Juniper are now 100% more lesbian. Juniper yeah. did choose to rig the class trial true. in favor of Robin. So that is very true. That is very true. I don't think that should be discounted. All right, we can we can support high femme lesbians in this household. <laughs> there you go. See, this is why we have conversations yeah. about this. So this is why this feelings. is why we don't dismiss it outright. This is why we talk and then we analyze and we understand. Mm -hmm. All right. At the end of the conversation, we're just like, it's fine because actually there were lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how I hand wave away my my frustrations. Yeah, to be same. honest, <laughs> exactly. That's that's my opinion when I watch any season of Yellow Jackets. Yeah, I was kind of feeling the same way, Alpha. That like Bridget is the same kind of character, but opposite. Or, yeah, because she was raised as a girl because the the town that she was in believed that there was um, 
like a, a, a an ominous prophecy associated with uh, twins. So they hid the gender of one of the twins to um, obscure the results of the prophecy. But then Bridget decided that the way that she was raised was the most comfortable to her and decided to own that identity, which is why so many people love that story. Sustained depression. Thank you for subscribing at Tier 1 for five months. What a shocking development. He really did turn out to be a she. Eek, why is everyone looking at me like that? Hey, oh Jake, X, you're on thin ice. I just want you to know, so be careful with what you say. Uh, Teehee, I feel like a movie star or something. JCZ487, thank character. you for resubscribing with Prime for three months. I don't believe the developers were trying to offend. They had potentially a good idea, but poorly executed. The developers were just like, what do girls like? Pink shoes? <laughs> yeah, the issue is, is that like people aren't usually trying to offend. The issue is that they aren't trying to learn. But no paparazzi, please. I value my privacy, O-K-A-Y. All right, no pics or you'll regret it, man. Am I just imagining things? Or is Robin even more hyper now than when she was a he? I don't know. Maybe it's because she finally got her troubles off her chest, literally. Uh. This is all well and good, but does he being a she actually change anything? The Azalmagia, thank you for the 10 bits. Robin alternates between her two sets of animations, at least, so she doesn't entirely change character. Both sides of the character are, like, not great, though. The fact that the witness is actually a girl does change things. Because there's now a piece of evidence we must reevaluate. Hmm. Very well, let's see what the defense has for us now. What piece of evidence must we reconsider now that we know the witness is a girl? The love triangle, I guess? I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's the, the voice recording, because previously... Oh, this is the... We had said that it could have only been Juniper, because oh, she was... Oh, it's a was... woman. Yeah. Okay. Ryan, you could think of the 10 bits. Go judge, doesn't care what their gender is, just wants to know when he can get his cookies. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Where's that Mountain Dew at? Good for the judge. <laughs> Take that! This is what I'd like the court to reconsider. Oh, the tape recorder. The one that recorded the threat, you're a goner. That's right. And we've already established that it's a female voice in the recording. Of all of the students who could have moved the body before the mock trial was to start. Our client was the only female if you exclude Miss Scuttlebutt because of her alibi. And that is why the tape recorder made our client the prime suspect. <coughs> ah, so then... That's right. The witness just revealed that she's a girl. Therefore... If we are using the voice in this recording as the basis for hurling accusations. I'm using this whole section as the basis for hurling myself. <laughs> Throw up. This witness must be labeled a suspect too. Oh no! Take care, Alopegasus. Wow, talk about a sudden turn of events. You've done it. You found a hole in one of the prosecution's key pieces of evidence. Yeah, but wow, that was a lot of work for a single one. Objection! That was a lot of transphobia for just one piece of evidence. Yes. Mm. Not so hasty now. The Azulmagia, thank you for the Tempest. Well, uh, on a less controversial topic, Athena's objection music is pretty neat. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about how much we love the music. Blackwell has cuffs because he came out of jail to do some uh, prosecution. Yeah. I love that he has cufflinks, like matching cuff, like the little buttons on his cuffs. 
Yeah, it really does just look past. like it goes with his outfit. Miles Edgeworth got these custom made, I'm sure. You didn't say this, Myron. All right, you're forgetting that only one person here was privy to the script. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> here you go, Miss Juniper. I'm sorry, the frustration melted my brain, and I was like, I am no longer male characters. Miss <laughs> 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 Juniper Woods is still the prime suspect. I do want to say one thing, and uh, just because the ch I feel like the chat is getting up, oh, and now the song is playing. We'll wait, hey, we'll wait for the <laughs> song. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Yeah, I had a feeling that... Okay. Uh, Ryan, you can make a thing with a high up. Please don't do another redeem if you can help it. I will give it a second to see if they try and do the combo. It doesn't look like they're doing it. Okay. Oh, they are. I'm coping <laughs> <laughs> and Koku no Megami, thank you for the, the combo of the high up co followed by uh, uh, turn down for what from you. It's okay, Ankoku. Don't worry about it. Uh, I do want to say, I recognize it's a complicated and heavy subject. The people in this call have very in a very intimate relationship. Well, I'm going yeah, to actually I speak? be a little more sure. Please. Just, uh, the only reason I'm saying something because it's 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 my channel. I just want to be clear, and I just want to make sure that everybody is on kind of the same page and doesn't think that this is us trying to attack a game or insist on something. The people in this call have a very intimate relationship with this sort of material and this kind of a subject matter. And it is possible to be transphobic even with no trans people involved in a situation. I know a lot of you are saying this character isn't necessarily trans. It's true. There can still be transphobic sentiment with it uh, buried deep within that sort of thing. And yeah. I don't think it's fair to keep saying, well, it's not. And I, I, I don't think you thing. understand that the people that are talking about it are genuinely affected by it. Because we are trans. I'm trans. Yes, exactly. Like, I, I don't know if Supi identifies as trans. I know you identify as non-binary. But like, and because like every non-binary different per is every non-binary person is different like we are not a monogamous or a, like just this uh blob of people that all have the same opinions about everything yeah and it's an umbrella term for like a lot of different identities exactly yeah. i i do feel like when you get down to the nitty-gritty and argue about details in a video game you're being a little bit dismissive of real people's real feelings and i just yeah. wanted to take a moment and say the people who are talking about it that you're hearing are feeling these things for a reason and i don't think it helps to see people in the chat talk about how it's not actually a thing that's all yeah because my point yeah. is the people who are arguing about it in the chat i don't know if either of you are trans but if you keep arguing about why my opinion is wrong or why my opinion is less relevant then you're just sort of like not helping the situation. Even though you're not doing it directly, even though you're doing it passively and you're just talking about a video game, there are real people hearing what you're saying. That's all I wanted to say. And yeah. that's why I wanted to say it. Right, Yukarika, thank you for the 10 bits. My firstborn and I are both non-binary and are different ways. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Anyway. Objection. But Miss Newman hid the fact that she was a girl, both at the crime scene and in court. I'd say that puts her in camp, sus. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> Athena, you're okay. <laughs> that is not nice. How can you accuse me of being a killer? Oh my god, I'm being bullied. I mean, I'm just a weak, innocent little girl. Thinking about that murder makes me... <laughs> Oh my Cause god. Because I think also, like, yeah, here we go. Like, I do think that the point about gender roles is valid, but that also doesn't mean that the trans points aren't valid at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Sometimes uh. it's transphobic to just not make the character trans. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that they did something intentionally. It means that that is an element of it. It means yeah. that it would have been better if they actually, like, if we al allowed culture to accept more of these points of view. I've got to say, I, I wish that we'd come back to any other segment of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really tired. I really I wish. I don't want to deal with this I today. I really wish. 
don't want to deal with it today. You should Suspicious. have just played a different game to come back. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we play Power Wash Simulator? God damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Suspicious is as suspicious does. <laughs> I miss Larry. <laughs> God damn it, Funkius. You win, universe. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the witness does have some sort of connection to this crime. It's like at least Larry was a character who was undeniably straight and undeniably cis. <laughs> There's just no debate around it. No debate around his scissory. <laughs> Now eat his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps our newfound lady is merely feigning ignorance. <laughs> we can surmise that she lent support to the principal offender, Junipo Woods. I like to think that was Blackwell giggling. <laughs> By leading Miss Scuttlebutt to the body, she would that would make her an accessory to the crime. Well, can you see that? I'm not an accessory to any crime, Mr. Birdman. Birdman! Me, 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 me. Not there! There! Objection! Dangling Objection. B -b Birdman, I'm flattered. I love Adult Swim. In any event, with the act of witness as an accessory, that explains quite a bit, does it not? With the accessory as a witness. Objection! It can't, can't. Ugh, he made it all make sense somehow. I honestly thought that this part of the Danny DeVito necklace was drool, and like she was going, <laughs> <laughs> And Danny gross. DeVito's like, hey, stop that. <laughs> and he'll keep accusing Junie unless we can show someone else knew the script's details. I guess we gotta find out how to prove that, and that's presumably where Hugh O'Connor comes into it. Could someone have gotten their hands on that kind of info? The only way they could have known what was in the script was if they... I, I mean, mean they, they couldn't see the mock trial. It must have been... heard it from Junie because she did, like, write it to favor the prosecution. Yeah. So oh, yeah. They are, uh, they are lesbians. Up. It had to have they been Junie. Lesbians. It wouldn't have been the yeah. script. Oh, you're fine, Funkiest Punkiest, and and please I, know that... Oh, go on. I don't think anyone's offended. No. I think we're just... Like, I... We just see that sort of response a lot where it's like, oh, well, it's just the culture, and it's like, okay, well, you yeah. can still have the culture be what it is, but if we look at it in a lens of, like, human decency, <laughs> in the ideal... Yeah, the thing is, cultures can change, and they're not always morally correct. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of dismissive to say like, oh, it's just the culture when it's like, it's not a great aspect of the culture, you know? Yeah, because I do think that like, they are struggling with learning how to um, incorporate more individualism into the culture. Like there is so much to say, like so much positive to say about collectivism, but there's so much positive and so much negative to say about individualism, but the same can be true the other way around as well. Yeah, so. exactly. Sorry, Junie, but you're not going to like this. Our client may have leaked the script's details to someone. To, uh, what's that movie, Twitter? Film updates? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> what the devil? Discussing films. And I know I shouldn't have, but I revised the script to favor the prosecution because I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Court noticed it immediately and changed it back. He put a big red line through it and said, to lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Be straight. And I cried. <laughs> I can't do it. Miss Woods did not want Hugh O'Connor to win the mock trial because she's a lesbian. <laughs> That's why I believe she leaked the details to the witness, Robin Newman, who is also a lesbian. Oh my I God, get they're it. everywhere. If Robin won, <laughs> Hugh, Hugh wouldn't be able to confess to Juniper. Oh my God. 
Right. Junie was probably trying to keep their friendship from becoming awkward. Because she's a lesbian. <laughs> because, she, because she's a lesbian. <laughs> Stop sniffle. <laughs> How could you, Athena? <laughs> What a bunch of bull! I, I, I never heard a word about that script from Juniper. Never ever. Objection. You sure? Can you look me in the eye and swear you didn't? Woe to me! Wow, classic hey. courtroom tricks. Look oh, me yeah. in the eye. <laughs> Bad Athena. You don't have any. Oh, uh, uh, I'm a girl. <laughs> Actually, we might have just the thing. I do have to admit that on gender fluid days that I am more femme, I do swoon and faint exactly like that. So maybe <laughs> that's why I'm offended by this character. <laughs> Femininity is a health condition now. <laughs> it kind of is, if you think Honestly, about it. Like, yeah. Holy shit, every month what happens? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck that. Really? Yeah, one of Robin's lines I read when we were re 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 One of Robin's lines I read when we were reenacting the mock trial, and I was being undressed by what's his name? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pixelinks me. Thank you for resubbing for 24 months there. Oh, so she is a girl. I thought she was, but I love walking in confused as fuck about Juniper being a lesbian. <laughs> I love you being confused She's as fuck too. Heterosexual lesbian. <laughs> Here's a shot of the crime scene. Ironically, uh, it oh. was poor. <laughs> Why? Posed as the corpse. Why did you burp seductively in my face? <laughs> because I'm so sexy I can get away with it, y'all. Here, forehead. How did the mock trial participants react to this photo? They because went, your bono did not go away, I they still went, see. They went, ew. <laughs> Mr. Newman was surprised by what Professor Court was wearing. He said, you died in that? <laughs> Robin said, oh, the green sweatsuit. S U R E. I might have said that, but so what? <laughs> well, think of it this way, Athena. Yeah. Uh, which way exactly? If I told you that I'd be wearing a blue suit today, but then showed up wearing what I've got on now, what would you say? I'd call you a fucking liar ass bitch. <laughs> Um, oh, the red suit. Ah, oh. ah, I think I've got it. I also have it. <laughs> Your Honor, we have evidence proving that Miss Newman knew the contents of the script. The defense moves to present said evidence to the court. Very well, Miss Sykes. Present away. This evidence proves that Miss Newman had prior knowledge of the script's contents. It's this picture of the two of them intimate, talking on a pillow. <laughs> Wait, what is the evidence? Oh, the, um... Uh, the the maybe let's look at the scripts. Let's see. Sweatsuit. Victim's outfit will be a red one. Oh. And it wasn't red. Was it? No, no, she said the green one. Green. Okay. What if? She, what if she was just colorblind? Yeah, it's happened before, hasn't it? Oh yeah, with sure. fucking uh, Godot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. He was like, "Where's that blood? I don't see no blood." <laughs> the mock trial script with J. Ryan Hold. Miss Newman, during the mock trial, you were shown a photo of the victim's body. You think if Godot goes to a restaurant and he orders like a side of ketchup, but the plates are white, yeah. he just like looks at the plate and he doesn't see any ketchup. He's like, <laughs> where, where the, the fuck is my ketchup? Is Why do, <laughs> what is this mayonnaise? <laughs> and reportedly he reacted by saying, oh, the green sweatsuit. Oh, um, 
Yes, I said that. What's your point? You seem to have some issue with the green sweatsuit, and I think I know why. The proof is in the script, specifically on the Things to Prepare page. Sweatsuit. The victim's outfit will be a red one from the prosecutor's course. Ah! <laughs> You were surprised because the sweatsuit in the photo was green. But if you didn't know about the script's content, then that shouldn't have surprised you. She's so close. No. no, 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 no. Oh, I thought we were friends, Athena. How could I have been so blind? I thought that said bitch. <laughs> I thought you went first. <laughs> In light of her privileged knowledge, I move to declare Miss Newman as a suspect, Your Honor. Privilege. You what? If knowing script details makes me a suspect, then there must be others besides me. I mean, someone else could have also seen Professor Court's note. Nuh-uh. Note? What note? The professor and Juniper were walking to working together to prepare for the mock trial. But only one copy of the script was made to prevent it from being leaked. But that gets kind of inconvenient, right? You're not seriously going to suggest. Oh, but it's the truth. Professor Court did do exactly what you're thinking. She didn't write down any of the proceedings or the truth behind the case. But she did write a note to herself about the props and the details about the victim's B-O-D-Y. I was going to say, the victim's B-O. <laughs> now I'm being cute. Because I'm a girl. Is this really true, Miss Newman? If you don't believe me, send the police over to my house. <laughs> Tell them to check the pictures on my camera. I thought it might give me an advantage. So, I took a picture of the note. I'd say she's telling the truth. I'd say you're a tiny little asshole. Hey! <laughs> Wait a sec. Shut up about my tiny little asshole. <laughs> something, some clavier or something. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a note with the details about the body, then that means... They know about my tiny little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> there are others who could have made the murder look like our client's script. They did a really bad job at not leaking this script. Yeah, yeah right? it's like a script nobody should give a shit about. <laughs> like, it turns out everyone knows. And tried to copycat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is yeah. a very bad school. Yes, I believe you're right. I feel like any organization or, like, location or group in this franchise, you could just say, that's a very bad that. <laughs> like, this is a very bad courtroom. <laughs> Well, you know, when I'm... when somebody got exploded in it, yeah, it's a bad court. Yeah, no, I, I think it's true. I think it's true. Like you could go to any firm in this universe and say that's bad. They're doing a bad job. I honestly oh, like I... to think it's only these lawyers and only this courthouse. Really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think the, the like the entire rest of the legal system in Ace Attorney is normal. It's fine. <laughs> Pixel links me. Thank you for the hydrate command. Japanifornia is its own, like, separate fucking government. <laughs> yeah. It's just a small sovereign nation. Did you say this? Um, I don't remember. So I'll say it again. Hey. Yes, I believe you're right. Uh. uh. <laughs> Apparently, this case isn't as clear-cut as Prosecutor Blackwell would have us believe. And Koku no Megami, thank you for unleashing the Proto-Badger. Miss 
new revelation blasts a big fat hole in the prosecution's case. Wanna... Nothing like Apollo's tiny little asshole. <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> Bully for you, Missy. But I don't think this spells victory. You piece of shit. <laughs> and why not? The battle is still young, and my blade is now fully drawn. I'm very hard. Between <laughs> it and my next witness, your life will be forfeit. So put away your wooden sword. Boom. Oh, go crazy, Meatball. And show me what you are truly capable of if you wish to live. There he goes. You want it? Don't worry, I'm gonna bring it. So long as you have enough rubies. <laughs> so long as you have enough tiny little assholes. <laughs> we um... only have the one. <laughs> I'm changing his voice to sound more like this because I didn't like doing a French accent. <laughs> I want more of the Shrek, the Shrek retold French accent. I oh, loved the, the French accent for this guy whose last name is O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I already said I want nothing to do with this trial. How oh, juvenile. It is not a matter of what you want, or you will cooperate, Hugh O'Connor. Prosecutor Blackwell, why have you called this witness? You will recall that the day before the mock trial, in short, the day of the murder, the, ac the accused testified that she left for home around 6 p.m. Yes, my notes here do confirm that fact. Dusk Bringer, thank you for the 10 bits. Judge, prosecution is threatening us. Eh, it happens. Who gives a shit? Suck it up. <laughs> right. Our client wasn't at the school at the estimated time of death, so she couldn't be... Objection! Excuse me. Yet, that was but a felic felicitous lie. Or am I mistaken, golden boy? I've no intention of saying anything more. Now, if you'll excuse me. Princess. Oh, I am not through with you yet. <laughs> mm, it seems the rogue prosecutor has it out for me. <laughs> Leave, and we just might discuss you know what. Uh, no, wait. One little statement and Mr. Cool loses it? What's that all about? She thinks I'm Mr. Cool. <laughs> Nobody thinks you're cool. I'm so cool. I changed my mind. I'll stay and testify. Hmm. Are you sure, Mr. O'Connor? <laughs> the word of a genius is as good as gold. Let's get on with this. Hugh O'Connor, a senior at Themis Legal Academy, lawyer course. How's that? Just fine. Your testimony, then, if you please. I still want the Irish accent. I want to hear it once. You want him to be Irish? Because he's O'Connor. His last name is O'Connor. Okay. You're up against <laughs> the top of the class now. I'd be careful if I were you. Smug I know Junie would never lie like that. That pompous schoolboy won't know what hit him. It's me. I'm going to hit him. Oh. I'm going to do this testimony in an Irish accent to honor my <laughs> ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Around the time of the murder. <laughs> to get Very mentally smug. prepared for the mock trial, I meditated <laughs> at the archery range till 7 p.m. At around 7.15, I went to the main building before going home. That's when I saw Juniper. <laughs> we didn't say much as we passed by each other. She seemed her usual self. That's it. Anything else you'd like to ask, you feckin' Shkobshite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that reminds me, and like, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent for a second here. Forgive me. Yes. But um, 
Uh, so that I reminded full- you of whatever you were about to say. <laughs> yes, uh, because that was not very masculine at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that made my pussy so dry. Yes. I now need to get a drink of water. Yes. And it made me realize, you know, I was talking to my speech therapist about uh, vocal masculinization, and she uh, had to like check herself and say that this is only true for English like American English speakers because every country is different, has a different idea of masculinity. Cause I guess like she was working with a client who um, is trying to learn how to speak more masculine in uh, Spanish uh, or in English and Spanish. They tried to do it in Spanish, but then like people, nobody takes them seriously in Spanish anymore Mm -hmm. because the voice doesn't sound like, I guess, whatever a culturally, um, uh, ex- uh, expected masculine sound is. So anyway, I was just laughing because I was like, what does a smug Irish person sound like? <laughs> <laughs> they always sound like, like, I don't know. It's like when I hear British people fighting, sometimes it sounds very polite. <laughs> just, I guess, if just pick a character from uh, Banshees of Inna Sharon and find the smuggest yeah. one. The, I guess the smarter of the two that stopped being friends with the other. Uh, Audio Dragon, thank you for the raid. I do appreciate it. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3. I hope that you uh, rolled high and had lots of success. And uh, Ninja Warlord, thank you for the 10 bits. Is this a posh shit shithead like Bastion? But you've spelled it shit shed. <laughs> he is a shit shed. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i call my bathroom <laughs> i was gonna say is he just like a, an outhouse because that sounds i don't like that <laughs> that is quite enough well done golden boy oops you fool the final bell rings at 7 p.m At which point, the campus is a desolate place. Now, you will recall the tape recorder. We know the time of the voice recording. Sean Vids, thank you for the raid. Holy cow. That's a lot of people. I hope that you had a good stream. A boring, depressed introvert. I vibe with you, my friend. Uh, Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Sean has commanded you here. You were playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. And I know this game only because Carl Urban is in the commercial campaign for it. So oh. if the game is half as hunky and gritty as him, then uh, you probably had a great time. You want to lick that grit. I baby, do. Baby, 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 baby indeed. From Soft, isn't it? It is indeed. It's the new game. I hope you had a great time playing Armored Core 6. Thank you so much for the raid. It's because Sean he's bisexual. Vince. Did we give Sean a... Uh, we did give them a, a, a one of those shout-outs. Let's give Sean another... Here we Is go. Is Sean bisexual? And thank you for the follow, Sean Vids. Thank you, Supikins, for the vamp redeem. I don't, every time I thank you, I'm like, you're right here. <laughs> phrasing! <laughs> and Ninja Warlord, thank you for the phrasing redeem. Hoo-ha! And the hoo-ha. Thank you, Void Adept, for the hoo-ha. hoo-ha. We're showing all of the raiders are many varied and stupid Turn redeems. And there's a turn down for what from Ribbonfly. <laughs> to right. be fair, we haven't gotten to use these in a while, so it's true. Yes, get get it out we your might system. Might as well use all of them. <laughs> I did say this. Free real estate. It was seven ten p.m. the day before the mock trial. That was the dark hour of this heinous crime. <laughs> this anus crime. This anus crime was committed against a tiny little <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Thank you, Cornflex, for the real estate redeem, and Ninja Warlord for the Maya He, Maya Who. And I got news for you. Do you have any proof of that? Oh. Stop breaking the law! What's your proof that he has a tiny little asshole? (laughs) There's so many fucking redeems. There are quite a few. Uh, (laughs) Thank you, L Train, for the Ice T redeem, and Kryven48, thank you for the Stop Breaking the Law asshole, right? As we were talking about the tiny asshole. Tiny little asshole. It's because he's bisexual. <laughs> and thank you, Cornflakes, for bunking the chat. As its final bell, this school plays a special broadcast when the clock tro- strikes seven. <laughs> he sounds drunk. <laughs> I am licking an asshole. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> that bird is in ass lick reach, so... <laughs> what? You, what? <laughs> You're the one who introduced this concept. <laughs> the female voice of the tape appears ten minutes after that broadcast. Thank you for bonking me? <laughs> Cornflex? You made it furry. Okay. It was yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the killer waited until school was empty to spring her devious and deadly trap. Hey, I did not have to encourage that much myself. <laughs> Can't blame I was me. just I was just memeing. I was dabbing. You you <laughs> brought a hawk into you this. the bird into this. <laughs> you brought Thank the you bird for bonking into man complex. <laughs> Hold up. No, I need to understand how you saying I'm drunk, I'm licking an asshole is you memeing. <laughs> A tiny little <laughs> asshole. Oh. Yeah. And I was making a joke about how my tongue was like blah 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 Because it was I fucked up. Okay. So. Thank you for bonking Soupy Vampire. Everybody gets bonked. <laughs> Tape recorder updated in the court record. A woman can be heard shouting Uragana recorded in the art room at 7 10 p.m. on the 23rd. The point redeems don't get us anything except engagement, Yolanator, but it's all appreciated. Thank so you, when the Gamer. witness saw the defendant, that would have been... Thank you, Matt Gamer 10... Sorry, 10101. I do appreciate that. Thank you for joining the chaos. Indeed. It was five minutes after the voice was captured on tape in the art room. Ergo, we know that the second accused was still in the main building, even after the killing. Where did second come from? What? You said the second See, I mean, accused. I don't fucking know where I made that up. <laughs> Sometimes words just like pop into my head and I'm like, yeah, that sounds melodically correct. Yeah. Hmm. So the time of the murder and the time of when the body was moved. A Ninja Warlord, thank you for the five gift subs to Harry Seven Dresden, to Mammal Type 01, to Sylphanis, to Lynx. Don't know how to say that. To Lynx Keelit? Colet? And to runs with scissors. Enjoy those gift subs, courtesy of Ninja Warlord 1421. Thank you, Ninja Warlord. That was a good Weird Al album. That was a good Weird Al album. Running with scissors. A long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. Great. Another inconvenient testimony. This is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It's true, Matt Gamer. <laughs> Number five. Miss Sykes, your cross-examination, please. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't remember what I said. I was too focused on being a uh, leprechaun or something. <laughs> you prepared. said you didn't do it. I'm sorry? You said you didn't do it, basically. I didn't. Oh, that's the, the testimony. Sorry. Yes. I was like, I did do a leprechaun kind of voice. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's fucking Martin. gassed by you and thinking it didn't happen. God damn it. Martin, Martin, everything... you, sounded, you sounded normal when you were saying the testimony. Are you yeah. okay? What accent? <laughs> I think yeah. you need to do it again. You, you sounded I mean, like your 100% time. normal voice to me. I do yeah. love Kamen Rider Decade, the Karate Bug Man. I heard somebody finally watched Kamen Rider Ryuki. Mayhaps I have maybe led something to the... I don't know if you were involved, Decade, but I was more intrigued by Shin Kamen Rider because it was directed by Hideaki Anno. Uh, that was my main reason for indulging in Kamen Rider. To get mentally prepared for the mock trial, I meditated at the archery range till 7 p.m. Not... Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, no, no. Huh? I, oh, I, I think thought we're that pressing. was the history button. Oh, we're but pressing. Yeah, we're probably okay, pressing. Good, good point. So, um, you meditate often? It was... <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to start pestering me, too. What's that supposed to mean? No need to play dumb with me. You flirting. Mm, all the girls want to know about my private life. <laughs> what? I will remind the defense this is a court of law, not a pickup spot. But so much sex happens here. But I will not remind <laughs> Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth of this fact. 
<laughs> because I like it when they do it. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> huh. Seems Miss Fancy Pants Lawyer over here is smitten with the, le the lesbian witness. <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to reveal that he too is a lesbian. Yes. Oh my gosh! Objection! 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 I'm not a hetero. <laughs> I'm just trying to establish the witness. If you must know, I never go a day without meditating. Satisfied now, stalker girl. That's it. You better take that. Whoa, whoa there, tiger. Just take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> I'll just continue my testimony now, if you don't mind. 7.15, I went to the main building before going home. That's when I saw Juniper. Hold it. Our client has stated she went home at 6 p.m. You and Professor Court were busy preparing for the mock trial together yesterday, right? Was that the last time you saw her? Yes. I left school at around 6 p.m. No, wrong. Um? I don't know what she was doing, but Juniper was definitely at school after 6 p.m. Did you just mansplain my schedule to me? But I suppose neither side can prove one way or the other. Ugh. But if Junie was there, that means she's lying. Truth be told, I only saw her for the briefest of moments. We didn't say much as we passed by each other. She seemed her usual self. Hold it! So you just walk past a good friend, barely saying a word? The final bell had already rung. They get mad when you stand around chatting. Then again, we're not like you people, talking endlessly in those annoyingly loud voices. Objection! Annoyingly loud voices? I'd like it if you refrained from insulting my partner like that. And normally I'd shout objection right now, but I'll take this one for the team. He looks so dejected. <laughs> anyway, I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, press? Hold it! Yeah, go for it. Alright, I'll take you up on your kind offer. Oh, I expected as much. So, go ahead, ask away. Um, Mr. O'Connor, I want to ask you... Why did you stay past the last bell? Uh, we can try it. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe art room? Why would an honor student like you ignore the last bell? I wouldn't say ignored it. I was simply running a little late. Do you remember exactly how late? Hmm... <laughs> You're a stickler for details, lady. But if I had to say, it was maybe about 10, 15 minutes. If you think it's that important, I'll add it to my testimony. I was hoping you'd say that. There you go, and that'll uh, uh, present the 715 one, I'm guessing. Wait. 7, 10, 15, there you go, 10 minutes. Boom, right? Mm. Maybe not. I guess not. <laughs> that statement contradicts the evidence. I think we have to establish that the, it's a name being said on the tape. Because we haven't decided that. I mean, it I, says you're a goner, not Hugh O'Connor. I mean, I know we know that because Soupy said it, but I don't know if that's what we're doing right here. I think we still have some steps to get well, there. Well, that's that's what I'm saying, is that we know that, but the game doesn't know that. Okay. It does? And how would that be? 
Just look at it. It's one huge contradiction. I see. The defense is simply making another baseless assertion. Give the judge his due. Give me my <laughs> mountain <laughs> due. There you go, Sorry. judge. Eh, crash and burn. Okay. We might also try asking other questions as well. Because we could also press that statement. It's true. Let's press that statement. Hold it. You ignore the last bell for no reason? Shame on you. Shame. No, shame on you. Pressing me for no reason. Marin. Uh, all right. Well, people do run late sometimes. Like you on the day this whole case began. Follow Anna for justice. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your middle name. <laughs> He's like, how did you guess? It appears we have a culprit in the case of the pot calling the kettle black. At two, your honor. I'm going to call out Ant Fish and say that I once wrote a line for him in my Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged parody that said, at two, character name, and he read it as, at, at, character name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, impasta. Hmm. Now what? Ask another art question? Room. Okay. Maybe try the art room. Did you stop by the art room, or as it's now known, the scene of the crime? <laughs> Did you stop by the scene of the crime room? <laughs> no, I He's didn't. like, weird that we call it that. <laughs> Even before the murder happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you prove it? As much as I'd like to say I could, I can't. But let me ask you, can you prove that I did? As much as I'd like to say I could, I can't. But I will ask, how often do you visit there? He goes in for a wank. <laughs> Hardly ever. There's no reason for me to be there anyway. There's no reason for you to be there? Kaizen Chaos, thank you for the follow. Is there an echo in here? If something's bothering you, I'll just add it to my testimony. I'll consider it. Thank you for noticing. Let's add your statement to your testimony. <laughs> I never went to the art room. There was no reason for me to be there. I'm guessing it replaces... It. Yeah. It replaces the statement, yeah. I yeah. think probably the time would be the more relevant, but I think... I don't, I don't know. The fact that we pressed it and then it, like, let us down to, like, eventually choosing another question probably right. means that that previous one at least wasn't correct. So but press... maybe we can press this one and see if the same thing happens. You had no reason to be in the art room. Really? The lawyer course I'm in is supervised by Professor Means. I'm not that. Plus, I'm not a member of Professor Court's art club, so why would I even go there? What about art class? <laughs> nice try, but seniors don't take art class. All right, then let me ask you. Wait, I just remembered something important. You did? I scored only 100% on all the art tests I took through junior year. That's it. Right. Always happy to indulge in some ego stroking. Anyway, what to ask next? Crap, I guess. Yeah. Please tell the court what you were doing on October 23rd, the day before the mock trial. <laughs> That's an easy one. Nothing in particular. Nothing at all? You didn't help with the preparations? 
<laughs> you don't get it, do you? I was merely playing the role assigned to me. I left the preparations and the like to others. My job was to be mentally prepared. Junie put her heart and soul into getting things ready while he just sat on his behind. She just, also wrote it so that he would lose, so... Right. Just to reiterate, I spent most of the 23rd meditating at the archery range. I didn't talk to anyone until the school closed at 7 p.m. So he did talk to someone. I suppose... I think he was supposed to talk to the victim. Right. I suppose a few archery club members did come and go while I was there. But you didn't talk to anyone? Not a single soul? That's right. I didn't say a word to anyone till the final bell at 7 p.m. I see. This is crucial information. Please add it to your testimony. I don't know if you're bluffing, but if you are, you have a pretty good pop 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 poker face, pop pop poker face, ma 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 ma. Who's hitting on who now, buddy? <laughs> I didn't talk to anyone until the final bell. I'd been meditating alone at the archery range. I guess we press it? We can try that or we can try looking at evidence. Right. Because they actually did say that this one was crucial. Yeah, they did. I think he was supposed to have talked to the victim. Like the night before. Oh. But it was either he didn't show up or she didn't show up because she was dead. I'll, should I try pressing? Hold it. You can try. You really didn't talk to anyone? Well, sorry. Well, I did exchange a few greetings. But what does that matter? So, he didn't have any conversations the entire day? Methinks that claim needs a little more scrutiny. But what should I do? Is there anything I should ask about in more detail? Okay, but it seems like she likes this statement, so... Yeah, I think it's no further questions. It's probably just evidence. Yeah. Actually, never mind. I've got all the info I need. <laughs> My, don't we seem confident. Alright. So this statement. Had been meditating alone yeah. at the archery range. But he should have talked to someone, apparently. What about the planner, maybe? Planner. This thing? Yeah. Need to speak with... Oh, need to speak oh. with Hugh O'Connor. Meet with Hugh about that report oh, yesterday. Yeah. Important. So he did speak. Or was supposed to, at least. I, th right. I thought I mentioned before that... Like, he was supposed to speak with her, but didn't for uh, some yeah, reason. Yeah. But I can't remember. I bet he So cheated. you didn't talk to anybody? What's that? I bet he cheated on a report or something. Right. <laughs> so you didn't talk to anybody on October 23rd? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I already told you, my word is as good as gold. Okay, then how do you explain this? And don't spare any details. Sorry, never seen that before. This is the victim's planner. She reported all of her plans in great detail. Like, talk to Hugh. <laughs> detail. <laughs> Take a look at this page here. It reads, 23rd, meet with Hugh, and important. People writing things down means they definitely happened. <laughs> Don't you find that interesting? Well, where'd you get that? The keyword here is important. You say you were at the archery range all day. 
Happy birthday, Goofy. Wow, today's Goofy's birthday? Apparently. I had no idea. I didn't know he well, had a birthday. Their name is Goofy. Let's look up Goofy's uh, birthday. Their name is Goofy Goober. Oh, yeah. I May, see, I May see. 25th is Goofy's birthday, apparently. The oh. username is Goofy Goober, well, so they are speaking in the third oh, person. Oh, happy yeah. birthday, Goofy Goober. <laughs> so now we also know that that actual Goofy has a birthday. Happy That's birthday, true. belatedly. And we were really late. We are not Goofy's friends. <laughs> goofy lied on sign up. <laughs> Very goofy of you. <laughs> Lying about but your age. You said, yeah. But also you said a few students came and went while you were there. Oh, and just as a heads up chat, we do have a hot out of uh, 3 p.m., which is coming up in about 20 minutes. So we will be coming to a stop in the next 20 minutes or so. That doesn't sound like a great place for an important talk. Criticizing your choice of location for a chat. <laughs> but the entire campus was buzzing with activity before the mock trial. Where could they have possibly had a private conversation? I thought about that too. But the situation changes after the last bell. What's this now? Oh my gosh, Anna Kaiser, that explains so much about that voice performance in that game to me now. <laughs> the witness stayed after the last bell. In order to have a private talk with the victim. Am I right, Mr. O'Connor? <laughs> this is insane! Excuse me. Humph. Must we go through this yet again? I suppose you have no evidence, as usual. No, I don't have any direct evidence. Oh, that's awkward. However, the witness was meditating until after the last bell. And he attempted to conceal his private meeting with the victim. <laughs> First Robin, now me? Who are you going to accuse next? Your mother. You're just another unscrupulous attorney looking to get ahead. Don't let him get to you. He's definitely hiding something. I mean, he was supposed to meet with the victim around her estimated time of death. He probably took my cereal. <laughs> I and he doesn't even pieces. have Minecraft on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> no Minecraft, no Reese's. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I had my suspicions about Robin, but... <laughs> Hugh seems just as guilty. These three are the only possible suspects, after all. My hair has a bono. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Mr. O'Connor, answer me this. Did you meet with Professor Court that day? Everybody at this school has a terrible sweating problem. <laughs> the sweatiest school in Japan, California. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Jailbird Prosecutor. I don't mean to steal your thunder, but I have something to say. It's very humid in Japan, California, so there's <laughs> yeah. lots of sweat. <laughs> The it humidity was... inside the courtroom is 100%. <laughs> Everyone's very sweaty. Everyone's very hot. <laughs> they, they try to take one step and they just slip. Phoenix Wright, <laughs> sweaty civil servant. <laughs> if it will save me some trouble, then by all means, speak away. If you would recall, Miss Sykes, the voice on the tape recorder was female. Knowing that, I'd like you to explain how I could possibly be a subject. Oh, he has a point. It's because the person speaking is the victim. Maybe if we listen to it again, we'll detect a little bit of, like, leprechaun in there. <laughs> oh my god. Huh, impressive. Golden boy here does shine gold indeed. We had totally dismissed the, se the section of tape that just was someone screaming, don't try and steal me pot of gold. <laughs> we didn't think it was relevant. <laughs> yeah, we thought that part was just irrelevant. We didn't see it as a motive or... <laughs> 
here to take the reins. You're more than capable of prosecuting this case. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm studying to be a lawyer. What a pity. To think just such genius is to be wasted here on mere lawyering. I feel like you're imitating me. I feel like you're <laughs> imitating me. <laughs> At last, your moment is here. Sykes Dolo, <laughs> time to refute Golden Boy's statement. Get a room. My and lord. Hey, phrasing! <laughs> so that was that is how it sounds when we have sex, actually. <laughs> like with a very loud. <laughs> and prove that you're the young prodigy worthy of the badge on your lapel. Ugh. Could he lay any more pressure on? Can I uh. beg for a bathroom break? Absolutely. Okay, I'll be right back. By all means. Harry Seven Dresden says, "Wish they made a Kung Pao Enter the First, Enter the Fist second movie." I can only assume that you came up with that statement because we were going <laughs> at each other, <laughs> which is a pretty frequent <laughs> line of dialogue in that movie. Is uh, noises? Just, just mouth noises. Just mouth noises. One of the characters. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Kung Pao, but one of the characters. I can't remember to be honest. I, yeah, I mean, I imagine most people saw it and then never saw it again. <laughs> But there was a character who just spoke in wee 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 like that, like almost <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> Ryria Kariga, thank you for the ten bits. Paw shit head off. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I hear Marin coming back, so I think we will we will be graced with their presence momentarily. We're seeing. I'm seeing some wee wee wee's in the chat. <laughs> Is that you, Marin? Yeah. Hey, sorry, all we heard was uh. Oh, I said I'm back. Dead Cold oh. Summer, thank you for the 10 bits. I just want to show an image of the lead writer of this game to the chat because it's hilarious and I love this man's energy. I'm seeing a broken link myself. No cookie. Mary the Work Lamb Belly, thank you for the follow. All right. The voice is unmistakably female, so there's no point in arguing about that. I can hear the pussy flaps. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. I mean, that's what it sounds like to me when people says definitely female. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to whom does the voice on the tape really belong to? The victim, Maybe I'm assuming. The witness. Oh, the victim, yes. Yeah, I believe so. The voice on the tape belongs to the victim. That's the only thing that makes sense. Objection! Did somebody talk about pussy flaps? Are you mad? Because <laughs> my mad? pussy flaps. Really? <laughs> 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 yours don't? <laughs> the voice on the recording says, You're a goner. That is something a murderer shouts at their victim, not the other way around. Mary the Lamb Belly uh, gives us a yellow card. I don't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> Yami Kasara, thank you for the bonk That's Marin the first time you. chat, too. <laughs> Indeed. Immediately Welcome. warning us. <laughs> I appreciate the boundaries. <laughs> you say this? Uh, yes, I did. Hmm. Yeah, that is a problem. You're a goner. You're a goner. What else could that sound like that I definitely didn't spoil before? Yeah. <laughs> um, Athena, we already fucking know. Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up. Mama. You a goner, mama. Mama. Oh my You're god. You a goner. You a goner. You a corner. Yeah, that rhymes. Oh. What is it? You O'Connor? Wait a second. So she's gonna figure it out before we do? I guess. Whoa, Athena, you're scary. Athena knows the jump. Because they didn't just let us figure it out, they put it in the dialogue. I see. You're scared. I'm terrified for even coming up with this. With what? Dead Cold Summer, thank you for the 10 bits. Martin, beyond Robin Problematics, what's your impression on the game so far? I mean, it's... 
I'll be honest, I see why people might dislike it, because if you didn't have a proper Phoenix Wright game for a while, like, I mean, there's a lot to talk about. We don't have much time before our hard out, so I don't want to get into a whole conversation about it. But basically, I see why people would be disappointed by introducing a new protagonist, basically putting Apollo Justice to the side, bringing back Phoenix, but having him basically negate all of his development that led to this. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's not... It feels very much like, what if we made a sequel to Ace Attorney but didn't really try and do anything interesting? Which is fine to me because I'm playing these all in one go, so it just kind of feels like another chapter, but so far it really hasn't done anything beyond the aesthetic changes and the quality of life alterations, improvements, that have really made it feel like it's worthy of its own game. With what? Prosecutor Blackwell, you wanted to know if I'm worthy of my badge. Well, I'm about to show you why. Despite my age, I'm able to proudly wear this at all. Lucky. Because I can just make shit up too. <laughs> I'm 19 and I'm not sorry. <laughs> Lucky's streams, thank you for the follow. And Dead Cold Summer, thank you for the 80 bits and 80 more just because I will be very kind. Nice. Oh. Then I... Oh, no, wait. Then can I take it you won't be changing your argument? Still, it stands that it's a bit odd for the victim to be the one yelling, You're a goner! Yeah, right. I agree. Yeah. That's what the victim was saying. But it's not. What? Try listening to the tape with subtitles on. <laughs> God damn it. Something is wrong with that! Hmm. I assume you have something to back up your assertion, Miss Sykes? Back up your ass? Uh. Not exactly. But you don't have to add fuel to his fire, Your Honor. No. If it is indeed Professor Court's voice on the tape, then she was shouting because she was... Uh, being threatened? <laughs> I think she was scolding him. Oh, scolding him. Okay. I mean, yeah. it would make sense for her to be like, Hugh O'Connor. Yeah. I would like to call one basic fact into question. Avoided that. Thank you for the hydrate command. She was probably scalding him for hitting on her or something. <laughs> probably. Is that shout on the tape really saying you're a goner? What are you up to now, Athena? You doing law stuff? <laughs> no. Good. Professor Court's planner said she was supposed to meet with a witness for an important talk. Hey, Minecraft. Perhaps our witness, despite being a genius, had done something wrong. And this made Professor Court get angry with him during their private meeting. I don't see how this changes what we heard on the tape. Well, if you want to see how it changes things, then let's try a little experiment. Check out this dress. What color do you think it is? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Listen to this. Do you hear Laurel or Yanny? <laughs> Your Honor, I want you to yell at the witness as if you're mad at him. <laughs> really let it out. No. But, and this is important, use his full name. My kink. Uh. <laughs> Okay, let's see, um... Q O'Connor! <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? Oh, no, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like oh, that. No. I'll try again, but faster. Lower and softer. Q O'Connor! Hmm? Q O'Connor? Q O'Connor? You a coner? What's happening? <laughs> well, wait a second. No, 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 this can't be. Oh, <laughs> you think I'd spend the energy to lead you this far if it wasn't true? Yes. Ah, but it is, Your Honor. Humans are not perfect. That's scientific fact. That is certainly a scientific fact. We sometimes mistake the shadows for monsters, or the wind for voices. Hmm. 
now that you mention it. That shadow was a monster. It's so, <laughs> the judge has, has so many fucking moths coming out of his ears right now. <laughs> his brain is finally awake. <laughs> you can do this, Athena. Just give the old guy one more little push. Down the stairs. Are we coming up to... <laughs> Are we coming up to a natural breaking point? I don't know. Anybody in the chat know if we uh, have far to go? Because we have 10 minutes before the hard out, and I don't want to keep going if uh, this would be a good place to stop. It might be. Yeah. I mean, we can't just stop anywhere. It's true. Yeah. This is America. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Bald eagles died to make sure <laughs> that we have freedom. <laughs> Let's say. That's why they're in danger. In the Great Bald Eagle War. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think Against we're gonna Burger King. <laughs> I think we're they gonna put call the tea it... in the harbor or something. I think we're gonna call I it there. That tea. <laughs> Sorry. I think we're gonna call it there right before we push an old man down the stairs. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, we'll push the old man down the stairs next time. But thank you for joining us for once more another delve into the world of Ace Attorney. We laughed, we cried, we had a redeem for high up by Randy Greek. One sec. Thank you, Ryu Karika, for getting us high up there, right at the end of the stream. Much obliged. Ryu Karika, thank you for the 10 bits. It's been fun. Love you all. Take care. Have a great night. See you all next time. Bye. Yes, I will probably be, be back to streaming myself on Tuesday, uh, where I'm hoping to be playing Master Duel. That's my goal. I'd like to play some Master Duel and uh, get back into the swing of some Yu-Gi-Oh! streams. Probably not going to be doing PvP, but probably will be just opening packs and looking at cards. Thank you, Blaze Girl, for the Proto Badger Redeem. Uh, thank you, of course, to my co-hosts. Uh, Soupy, thank you for joining us today. That was a lot of fun. Did you have anything you wanted to say to the chat before we pop off here? Just thanks for joining us, everybody. That was a good time. I'm glad to be back. Heck yeah. And Marin, was there anything you wanted to say or any streams that you're going to be doing? Anything at all you want to plug? Uh, well, I'm probably going to start getting back into reading um, Epic of Gilgamesh one of these days, eventually doing more vocal masculinization practice because I have another meeting with my speech therapist soon. So going to do that. And also, I forgot to mention, but I am in Mashley Magic and Muscles, I think it's called. Mm. Uh, it's Anaplex show. I voice Abyss. Um, and if you want to hear me, go ahead and check it out on, I think it's on Crunchyroll. So it's a union show. Way to go, hey. Anaplex. So yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thank you indeed. And thank you to both Supi and Marin. And also thank you to the mods, especially Lena Kira. I think Arikios might have been here. I'm not sure. But thank you, Arikios, if you're there. Thank you to all the mods. And uh, thank you to all of you in the chat for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you again with more Ace Attorney next Sunday, unless anything comes up. We'll keep you up to date. Uh, and thank you for all your support. We really do appreciate it. We had a bit of a rough time. And uh, you guys have been very supportive in general. So thank you to each of you for that. We're going to raid Tayo Devil, one of my favorite VTubers, who's just come, finished doing a subathon, and I believe they're playing Guilty Gear Stride, although the screenshot looks like nothing Guilty Gear that I've ever seen. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh. Bye, everybody.